Melton, son of a carpenter, Mary. Daddy carpenter worked on skyscrapers, and Mom, Mary Ann. I'm the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to make parables, and this is a Tommy parable. About Tommy, the no arm Chinese fella. It's also my son of a carpenter, Mary Sugar Chick. I'm going to try and do that in between laminate. I've already done a few of those. And I get back to that as soon as I finish my. My sugar chip. Uh, Tommy is a no arm Chinese fellow. How do you get to be missing both arms? He uh, was brown nosing on the Chinese streets. They love blind obedience, and he was being blindly obedient. His boss Wu gave him a test of loyalty and told him to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. And Tommy's always been blindly obedient. He's Chinese. He slowly fed that right arm into the wood chipper. The left arm saw what was going on with the right arm, was of course surprised. The bodies always have that unspoken agreement with the arms. The, the arms tote stuff. They uh, turn doorknobs, they zip up, they button up. And um, in return, the body does not chip them up. 343. When Tommy broke that agreement, the left arm didn't want to get chipped up like righty, so he jumped off. And, uh, yeah, the Chinese streets, the oriental unseen business, that which you might not see on the news or pop culture, but you might see around you all the time. It's backwards, so it gave uh, Tommy a promotion. He's bossing a whole lot of folks around, but he's on vacation. Maria, his girlfriend, won her heart on the dance floor. He's always been scaly. Yes, he's Chinese. And he's always uh, talked with a horse lisps. And he, uh, he also likes to stick his tongue out a lot. And now that he's missing both of his arms, he is... Uh, a great snake dancer. He slithered his way in between Maria and whoever she was dancing with. He's been there ever since. He's living at his house. And uh, yeah, uh, they've been together a little while over a year now and she wants him to meet the family and that includes the grandpa in Alabama who um, gave Rhea the recipe for beaver. All of his recipes for that exotic southern dish of beaver. It seems to work better than porcupine and badger and otter. The recipes for beaver work particularly well for cat and Tommy's. Oriental, he likes cat. You ask them if they're honest, they'll tell you. Yeah, I'm making this with a new camera that I, I don't know how good it's going to be, so I'm backing it up with this camera. At least the Tommy circuit check portion. And they go on a road trip and Bria does most of the driving on the way to Alabama, and this is going to be an ongoing kind of thing, meaning I can make several different Tommy parables, and, uh, well, I showed you this one already. I've got the other camera over here. I haven't showed you this, so I'm going to show you the, the ones in between the laminated. Because I got like six or seven done already. Oh, I got it upside down. Yeah, it hurts Tommy's teeth to drive. He has to drive with his mouth, and he likes to weave in and out of traffic. It's very animated. And, uh, yeah, so he's been driving, and, yeah, I can, uh, make five or six other parables uh, about Tommy and come back to the series and pick up. Uh, 
you just have to, it's a, me making a, a video and uh, on my own, on my, just for fun stuff, so you got to put up with that. Pick up your video camera, or oh, your phone, this is my phone, makes a, a, a video nowadays and be video pioneers. Make those videos only you can make. Oh, I'm supposed to be showing you. I'm a handsome ball guy. I can't do two things at once. But uh, Rhea's driving, and uh, she uh, is on her way at this particular portion of our trip, going through Louisiana, where I'm from. Moved out here in, to California in 2007. And I've lived here ever since. Uh, Tommy sees a see there's a camera over there. Oh, here's another camera over here. Tommy sees a museum. It's an alligator museum. Yes, in Louisiana. And he wants to go see the alligator museum. And he says it's just a bunch of old alligators. And he says, I want to see it. I've never seen an alligator. And so. Rhea stops and uh, the curator of the museum comes out and meets him. It's not a big place. So he says, oh, hi there, fella. He looks right at uh, Tommy. He says, uh, looks like you've already met some alligators if I show you these swipes don't you know and uh, Tommy doesn't know what he meant until Rita says oh he, he thinks the alligators got your arms and uh, Tommy says no it was a wood chipper and he doesn't want to explain and Rita doesn't want him to explain so they go in and they look at the museum and all the really big bones of the alligators, the video of the alligators, the uh, and it turns out after they're done, Rhea's kind of hungry and she asks, "Is there any good restaurants?" And Tommy says, "Any good cat restaurants?" He, and uh, the curator doesn't know what he means by that, so he says, well, there's this good uh, restaurant down the road, the piece, and as he's given Rhea the directions, Tommy strays away, and that's not always a good idea in Louisiana, because he finds, you know, swamp country, he finds some quicksand, and he starts to sink, and he calls out, Rhea! Help Rhea! Help Rhea! Yeah. By the time they notice, Tommy's like hip deep in the quicksand and it's sinking quick. And uh, Rhea goes over, tries to pull him, but she can't. Uh, she's yeah, not strong enough to pull him out. She calls to the curator, you know, a few yards away. And he says, "Oh, ma'am, hold on a minute. I know how to how to fix this." He goes in. And gets this really big stick. Because that's what they do when, you know, somebody falls into the quicksand pit there. And he holds out the stick for Tommy. And Tommy, you know, he got no warmth. He just kind of looks at him and says, what do you want me to do with it? And, uh, yeah... Curator realizes his mistake and calls over to Bubba. And five or six guys come, you know, walking up. 
because it's Louisiana. Lots of folks named Bubba. And he says, no, my cousin Bubba. And the biggest some bits there named Bubba is his, his cousin. And Bubba goes over, and he's a real big guy. He reaches down. He grabs uh, Tommy by the neck, and he just pulls him on up and puts him down, you know, right next to Rhea. And the curious says, hey, don't just leave him there like that. Take him over to the hose. Holds him all. And Bubba, you know, he takes uh, Tommy over to the hose and hoses him off. And he's kind of cold uh, and wet. And uh, Maria says, well, come on, we'll just go get some food. We'll get back on the highway. We'll look for a, a good hotel. And, yeah, it won't take much more driving. Tomorrow, and we'll be in Alabama, and do not ask for cat in the restaurant. You know they're not going to have it. And Tommy, um, he's going to ask for cat. He wants cat. Well, it's 11 minutes. I'm going to have to at least turn that one off so I don't lose it. And I'm going to turn this off of Tommy. I'm going to turn it off, start it over again. And I'm just going to upload this one. That's the end of this uh, episode of Tommy. Well, that's bizarre. It says 2.59 and it's been on for like... 20 minutes. Oh, good. Yeah, you're going to have to um, check the rest of these, including my helicopter one out tomorrow or soon. I don't know what's on with that, going on with that camera, so I'm just going to have to turn it off. The light's been blinking for 12 minutes, over 12 minutes, because this is on 12 minutes, probably about 20 minutes. Yeah, that's straight out. I'll have to remember that. Don't want it curved on my chest. Let me see if I can get the uh, helicopter one in and call it a day for my phone one. Oh yeah, I got about seven more. Remember, you can pick up your phone and you know add to the Tommy Parable series. Make those videos only you can make. You know, demonstrating sensors. If you're trying to call me, 424-229-4140. Also, look for the big fives on www.meltonprints.blogspot.com. Got my address. Got my number. You call the number, you make a bid whatever you get when you don't get me melt. Stone cold melt. Those are my chains and eyes running up here doing a little genetic carpentry. As the son of a carpenter in there. But that's enough for this. Uh, make those videos only you can make. Come see me in the Immaculate Apartment and let's get started building. Tear down the Great Wall of Evil has just me and all that imagery I just showed you.
and uh, let's get started on those thousand points of light to inspire the future and the present to greatness with and uh, yeah Melton Prince at blogspot.com dot com www.christcomplex2.wixsite.com slash daffodilia d-a-f-f-o-d-i-l-i-a will tell you what I designed today or recently when you hit the heart hit the uh, Boxes over at the right, and that'll take you to where you can download the big fives and all of my imagery from 2000 out through 2018 as 4x6 uh, prints. I do that, and yeah, tear down the great wall of evil by seeing me in person and being right here on my chest. We see someone other than me and my changing eyes there. We started to build Jesus' immaculate house here on earth. Be a part of that today in person.